The front of the University of Guam's RFK library was filled with stargazers as many gathered to witness our biggest star get eclipsed by the moon. Planetarium coordinator Pam Eastlick says July 22nd is the longest solar eclipse in the 21st century. While it is considered a total solar eclipse in other parts of the world, the island still got to see most of the action. It is not a total eclipse anywhere in Micronesia, okay? Here on Guam, the sun will be about at maximum eclipse, which occurs at 12.53 this afternoon. The sun will be 74% eclipsed. Eastlick predicted the peak of the eclipse lasted a good six minutes. She also provided homemade viewers for people to see the stellar event happen and always recommends never to use anything to directly look at the sun. While cardboard boxes poking holes in tinfoil and even using binoculars were used to view the sun's reflection, Eastlick says the best way to view a solar eclipse is to use a mirror and reflect the sun's image in the dark area. Diane Thurber says this is her second time witnessing a solar eclipse and recalls how much fun it was the last time it happened. We, we did it here. She had a whole thing out, you know, people on the lawn just like today with, you know, the boxes so that you can look at the sun and, and lots of information about it and stuff like that. And so it's just it's a lot of fun and you get to see people and, you know, it's a good way to spend your day. Ten-year-old Tara Osita Lee also wanted to spend her day at UOG. She mentions that she asked her mom to watch the solar eclipse from here. I really wanted to see it, so I I asked my mom to come down here. Cool. Is your mom here too? Mm -hmm. cool. As for when the next solar eclipse will happen, Eastlick says you'll have to wait several years for the next one to be seen. We have two solar eclipses every year, somewhere. The next one over Guam will be in 2016 and the sun will actually be more eclipsed than it will be today.